Laravel 5.6 is out and we are going to see how we can upgrade from the Laravel 5.5 to the latest version. So the first thing that you need to do is actually to go to the laravel.com website slash docs and it redirects you automatically to the 5.6 version. Here in the prologue you have the upgrade guide that you should follow and it's exactly what we are going to do here. So the first thing that we need to go is back to our project file project um, and directory and actually start by updating the composant.json. So in this case, uh, Laravel 5.6 requires a 7.1.3 version of the PHP. In case of the Fideloper, uh, it's the version 4.0 onwards. In terms of the Dusk version, so I just installed the Dusk Passport and Scout so you can see how you can also upgrade them. It's the version 3.0 onwards for the Dusk. For the framework, of course, is the version 5.6.star. Uh, for the password, for the passport, um, it's the 5.0 onwards, and for the scout, it's the version 4.0 onwards. Also, if you are using PHP unit, you should also um, update it to the version 7.0 onwards on this case. So let's just save the file and let's do a composer update here. So I'm just going to enter on this. Uh, folder that I have here and I do a composer update and let's see what happens. So it starts updating the packages and it will install two new packages, make 20 updates and remove uh, two packages. As you can see here, he is updating Symfony components to the version 4.0.star uh, along, along with other packages that it's also being upgraded on this case. Now logically, if you have your third-party packages, you need to pay attention to those dependencies because they are not covered on these upgrade guides. So we have finalized here to upgrade all the packages. Let's do a quick PHP artisan minus, minus version, dash dash version. And you see here that it's already on the version 5.6.1. So on this new version of the 5.6, um, we do have here on the config two new files that we need to add. One is required, the other one is optional. So let's see how we can actually deploy those files. So one of the files uh, that we need to install is related with the Trusted Boxes middleware. And on this case, we need to deploy the file by running PHP Artisan Vendor Publish. And it's this one that says here provider Fidelo Fideloper proxy, Trusted Proxy Service Proxy. So we're going to run this service provider to deploy that file. And here on this fresh installation is the number one, but in your case, if you have more third party dependencies, uh, packages it might be other numbers so I'm just going to click one and I click enter and it says we just deployed the trusted proxy on your config directory so if I just do here a refresh you will see that now I have this file called trusted proxy so this file trusted proxy actually allows you to configure your headers um, that you will filter on your middleware um, for the trust, uh, trust proxies middleware uh, by default, it says that it has this headers, header x for that all. And it means that we also need to do some changes due to this latest version of this package on our app HTTP middleware and on this trust proxies. So by default, you have here this, this array and actually we need to clean it up all and then we actually need just to um, uh, put here the, the part of the requests and the part of the type of header that you want to pass there and you save it. So you just remove the array and you pass this uh, new uh, constant that comes here on the, uh, on the request um, object. So let's give it a try to see if it runs already well. So if I do php artisan serve and I go here to my 8000, so as you can see you have the um, the page already loaded correctly. So just to show you again what happens if you don't put this, let's go back here to the array. I do an F5 and you see this error. So if you see this error set press trusted proxies that says that there is an invalid argument, as you just saw, all you have to do is actually to pass this information here exactly as it says on the upgrade guide. So if I do an F5 again, it runs well. So finally, what we need to do is to deploy the new uh, login config file. So on the version 5.6, um, there was a big upgrade in terms of logging flexibility. So let's go here to the, again, to the Laravel documentation. So I'm just going to go to laravel.com slash docs. And I go back to this upgrade guide. 
and I search for logging and it says here that there is a new configuration file that you can download a copy from this default configuration file link that is here. So if you click it here, you'll have access to the file here on the, on the current develop branch. So I'm just going to copy all of this code and all I need to do is actually to create this logging.php file here on the config. So I just do a logging.php and I just copy paste exactly the same. And here, of course, you can then create your type of log. You have, I mean, again, you just need to search for documentation, but you have different channels. You have the stack option that you can actually pass an array of channels, like if you want to log on your hard disk, but you also want to log uh, uh, for a Slack channel, for instance, in this case. So again, it's a it's an optional file that comes here, but it's also good to, for you to put it there and then to start using it. Logically, uh, you don't need any more on the app to have the the log part here. So there is a log level and log. So these two, you can also remove them. And here you just do an F5 and see everything continues to run well and uh, well everything is well configured. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, now you can start using your new um, Laravel 5.6 application on your um, website that you are that you are currently upgrading. Thank you very much for watching the video.